Hats are different all around the world, but they could all be thrown at our crew members' heads. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Mythical beasts, your questions are like body heat. A lot, a lot of them escape from the top of your head to be lost to the air. But we have the mythical answer beanies, which nestle Ooh. down on your noggin and pair your questions with the answers that make them happy, toasty, and correct. That's exactly what it's like, Link. We asked you to ask us bad hair advice questions, and we got those for days. And we got a question from Sydney Ahart who asks, whenever I have bad hair days, I wear a hat, but I want some cool looking hats to cover my hair up. Mm. Will you help me? Yes. yes, Sydney Ahart, we will help you. Here's what you need to know. In order to find a cool hat, you can't limit yourself to your immediate geographical region. No. You have to reach out into all kinds of places in the world to reach get out. other kinds of worldly hats to put on your head to be cool. And what better way to do that than to learn about some new hats when we play a game? that we call. Throw your hat in the ring, and by ring, we mean crew member's head, and by in, we mean at game. Okay, so for each round, we're each gonna be presented with a hat, and we have to try to figure out, given uh, three choices, what the correct name of that hat is. Right. It's a hat from somewhere around the world, mm -hmm. a hat that we are probably not familiar with, and to add a physical challenge to this, we have three holes, look at that. Oh, and look, we got three oh, heads. Got <laughs> as much as I want to play whack-a-mole, we're just going to throw <laughs> hats in order to add a physical component to this thing. So they will each have a choice of what that hat might be called in front of their face. And then we are going to throw the hat that the other is wearing at one of their heads. And here's a complicated scoring system, so just hold on to your seats. If you guess the hat correctly, just like you just guess it, it's five points. Yes. But then if you actually throw the hat and it touches the right head, mm -hmm. 10 points. If it lands on the right head and stays, 20, 20 points. points. If it lands on the wrong head and stays, negative mm. 20 points. What? And if it touches another head, falls off the side, whatever, one point for each additional head that it comes in contact with. If it falls with. off the side, you get one point? No, no. If, if it, it hits, hits a head, head and falls and off. then falls off. You know what? You're going to understand as we play. Just follow along. But I'm not. Round, Round one. one. Okay, Rhett, this is your first hat. Oh. How do I look? You look great. You look like a war hero. This is this is a Napoleon hat. This is what this is what that is. I don't know what you call it. Does it suit me? I don't know. Uh, but the question is, what do you call this thing? I know where it's from. Well, your three uh, choices are Galathia, Bicorn, or Monterra. Well, I immediately gravitate towards Bicorn. Not only because I like to eat my cobs two at a time, <laughs> but because I can easily picture one cob in each holster here. You oh. got a corn here and you got a corn here. I could probably fit four or five corns in there. No hat's worth having unless you can buy corn it. Yeah, right. I feel like this is a, this is definitely buy corn. Okay. This is buy corn material, which means that's Mike. So like if you could just like, I gotta get some. Uh, okay, going for buy corn. If he's right and he purchases it, that's 20 points. If he hits it, oh. now you hit, did you hit your head, Kevin? Yeah, yeah, I did. He grazed my hair. Yeah, I grazed Graze your his hair. hair. Okay, so we know you got one point for grazing Kevin's oh, hair. Wow, I got, mm. But other than that, you kind of whiffed in I, Yeah, really, yeah. And you know what? I was actually doing a throw as if there were corn in the hat. Show me your hat, because before we reveal yours, oh, okay. I get to throw mine. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. <laughs> the proportion yeah. between your beard and your hair was was out of whack anyway. Yeah, so this yeah. is this is really this helping is really you. Really nice. Of course, you know what? You could fit a corn cob in each one of these too. I mean, you now could, that I look at it, you could definitely buy corn it. This, this is the buy corn. This looks like I think I've seen this on a bullfighter or something like it. So I'm going with Montera, which uh, sounds like a Spanish name. It, it does. It does. If I bounce this off of Kevin and I hit Mike and Chase. You get a point for every I head get, you come in I contact. I can get three points, so that's what and I'm gonna And you get try 10 points for if you hit the right <laughs> head. Well, I'm not confident, and I don't wanna get negative 20 by nestling it on his noggin. I'm, I'm gonna bounce this off the right side of your face, the front of your face, Mike, and then the left side of your face, Chase. Oh, that's, Close your eyes. If you do that, I'll be very impressed. It's gonna have to throw it hard, though. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, right, you so missed, missed Montero. But I hit Chase and I hit Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got two points right off the bat. Drew, uh, what were the correct answers? Right, your answer was the bicorn from France. Yeah! So you got five points for that. 
I got five points. Plus one, Plus one is point six. for a Montero. Six points. And Link, yours was the Montera from Spain. Yes, I was right too. Yeah, five you points. Got, so you got seven points because you hit two that were wrong and you got the correct thing. So seven to six, moving on to round two. Round two. Yeah, nestle it. Look at that. All right. Oh, now, this is, this is for mm. colder climates. What are my choices? Your choices are, is this a strimmel, a puckle, or a joppy, Man. or my next haircut, <laughs> because that's what <laughs> please, I want it to be. Please be your next Man, haircut. Man, if I knew I could reliably get this to happen on a daily basis, <laughs> sign me up. Man, Stremel, that sounds mm. German. Pockel and joppy, I don't know. I think this is a pockel, because it's not a Stremel or a joppy. I'm just not feeling <laughs> it. <laughs> your your, your is logic is impeccable. Joppy is like uh, something, from India, I think. Uh, this is not from India. This is this is too it, cold. Right, yeah, I there's I, some cold places in I India. I would be picking Pockle if it was my choice. All right, Mike. Here it comes. Now help me out, like. Oh, I will. Like move your head to try to. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Two points. I just got two points. Is that touching? I mean, the fact that Mike can touch his face to it. And he did. I, I think that counts. Yes. So I get two points and, at least. Yeah. Okay. All Put right. on a hat for me, Link. Oh, look at this one. Oh, it's a similar it's a similar system. Does it become of me? Well, I think you may have found <laughs> your next hairstyle. Here we go. So, um, look, this is how you wear it with a little swagger. Yeah. I feel like this could also be a puckle, but I also feel like this has a German feel to it. That has a German sound to it. The Stremel. I could see somebody like on a hillside like playing a German musical instrument, which I don't even know what that would be. Like a long tube where they say yeah, like a harmonica that's got like a tube and a backpack. Those Germans, they're always doing the engineering thing. Yeah. Okay, could you please make some room here? You're going for Stremel, huh? <sighs> yeah. I'm I think you can perch this one for yeah, yeah. 20 points, right? Go for the gold, man. <sighs> oh! So close! Oh, so close. So, so you got one point for that, but man, you almost had the 20 or the negative 20. Unless, I don't I'm, know. unless I'm right. All okay. right, Drew. Link, yours was the Stremel from Eastern Europe. Oh! And you didn't even make contact with that. No, I didn't, but that does, that's but no got, negative you, you points. Got, you got two points for your other one. Yours was the Packle from Pakistan. Oh! oh we, were, we were opposites. And where's the Joppy? That's, a, that's from India. India. Yeah, yeah I was right about that. <laughs> you were right about that. Right about, do no, I get an extra no point points, no. for that? Nope. Round three. Check out this hat, Rat. Wow. Oh, wampio? A wampio. That's that, not the name of the hat. That's just the sound I make when I'm wearing the hat. This is a dad camping hat. <laughs> dad is. went on a fly fishing yeah, trip. Yeah. You should do this. You should wear something like this, like when you go out on a date. I'm, I'm saying, fishing like, for my you date. look really cool, and then you wear that. That's the kind of thing that Kanye does. And all of a sudden, people are like, oh, fishing hats are in. You got to define the culture a little bit, I'm man. I'm flattered. Don't just be riding the wave. Be pushing the water. I'm flattered that you think I can push the water. Yeah. Okay. Uh, giggle hat, Irish country, or bammer. All great candidates for this one. I will point out that Can I you, see you giggle in this one you first? Did, you didn't giggle when you saw it. Let me see you giggle. <laughs> a little bit more? <laughs> it suits giggling. <laughs> it really does. It really suits giggling. Uh... But Irish country, this would be perfect for the Irish country. It would be a shame if this wasn't. I don't know, when I go go fly fishing down there in Bammer, that's where I get the big fly fish. It's not a giggle hat. It's either Irish country or Bammer. I'm gonna go for Irish country. And <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, if you go for Bammer, you'll probably hit Irish country. God. Whiff, total whiff. Man, I should have known that that thing had some Frisbee action to it. Did you guys blow out when I threw it? I exhaled. One of you exhaled, I'm sure of it. You cannot blow out whenever we throw. <laughs> All right, throw on a hat. Uh. Ooh, look at you, Gilligan. Just sit right back and you'll see us. No, it also does this. Funny, funny, that's, a, that's a really good funny look. Snit. You just said funny snit. Funny, <laughs> funny snit. Man, I mean, if there ever was a giggle hat to giggle to, <laughs> giggle, giggle. <laughs> I don't know, man. Definitely not Irish that. country. Bammer or a giggle hat? I think this is a freaking giggle hat. <laughs> uh, I was really feeling those giggles. Okay, let's see what you got. <laughs> All right, I'm going, you... I'm going for the ringer. I'm turning this up. I actually have a chance. I you do. Like. This, this, this could definitely land. This could definitely land on the giggle head. Oh! oh! 
But Co- two points. Two- look how surprised Mike was. <laughs> He's like, oh, there's a hat. <laughs> Mike, that's kind of your, your role in this game is to have hats thrown at you. So don't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't be surprised by it. So I know I got two points. But okay, let's see what, what we got here. Answers? Okay, Rhett, your hat was the Giggle Hat mm. from oh, Australia. Really? From where? Australia. Oh, okay. No points for me. Zero points. You got bonked uh, on that one. Yeah. All right, so I was wrong as well. Uh, what, y- yours was the, the Bammer, answer? man. Yours was the Bammer. So, Link, yours was the Irish country oh, really? from Ireland. <laughs> really? You wear Gilligan. that in the Irish country, you get shot. Gilligan wore an Irish country? Well, they were originally made out of wool, and so those hats became bucket hats. Oh, mm, I would have known that if you yeah, would have known that. So I got two points that round. You did. Round four. There you go, Link. <laughs> Whoa. I'm going to sit that on the floor That is tall, for this man. That's downright Seussian. That's great. This is like a, a Buck, Buckingham Palace hat. Or like the guys who guarded the Wizard of Oz, maybe? Is this a garrison, a fin, or a bearskin? That's the question. Yeah. Definitely feels like a bearskin. That'd be tall for a bearskin. I don't know why. But it's just air in here, Link. Look. Oh. This is like, I like Creed, man. I went to the last Creed show. It was amazing. He's so talented. Creed is not one guy named Creed. That was, <laughs> Creed. That was the office. Creed is so talented, man. <laughs> you seen him in concert? He's great. Why am I not taking up for Creed? Finn or Garrett? This is going to be my Halloween costume, first I don't know. of all. I, I think this is what they wore in the Buckingham Palace guards. Yeah, without a doubt. Which tells me that this has to be Garrison, which means guard. Now, before you throw it, let me, let me clarify something. If you're wondering about our complicated point system, Link did come in contact with the correct hat, the correct head last round, but because he didn't guess it, he only got one point. You have to guess it and come in contact with it to get mm. the 10 points, or 20 if it lands on the head. So if I, if I just hit Garrison and I'm correct, I get at least 10 points. Blow, uh, I'm blowing you out of the water. You are. Point. It'd be very difficult for me to win at this point. There's no way this is going to perch on your head. <laughs> so I'm not going for 20, I'm going for the 10. I'm going to go for the 10 and the 11 and the 12 by oh, hitting all three. Don't of them. get greedy. Oh. Didn't touch, Kevin, didn't touch Mike. But they can make contact with their face. Can you make face contact with it? I, I, can you nozzle it? I can get my nose in there. Yeah. Okay, that, I, that, yeah. I'll give you the extra two points. All right. So you really <laughs> gotta up your game. Oh gosh. All right, here it is. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, Link, I don't even know the name of Mike's hat anymore because your hat's in the way. <laughs> what is it? Finn. 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 I'm really confused now though because this could also be a garrison hat because it's like a military thing. Mm, it does look military. It is military. There's so much on the line here because I'm so far behind at this point that the only way that I can win is to guess right and hit it and potentially make it land and stay up. But wait, now I look like the Pope. Mm. Kinda? A little bit. A beige pope? He does that sometimes. I think he's beige on Fridays. I'm gonna have to say Garrison, even though I think this might be the fin, just because my chances of landing it in between Chase and that other hat are greater than trying to make it perch on Mike. Now, I think you gotta go for 20. That's what I've been talking about as you're over there doing beige pope impressions. Do it. (laughs) Chase, help me out now. Yeah. Get get your head a little bit lower. Lean to the left. Oh! Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna say you touched Chase a little bit there, his nose is touching, but that's it. <laughs> if it is a garrison, that's 10 points. Okay, Link, your hat was the bearskin hat. Yeah! From oh, England. No. That's a bearskin? <laughs> yeah, man! All right. Okay, Rhett, yours was the garrison. Yes! No! Come back for the win! Man. Hat King! You don't even wear hats often. I do, and you know what? I Congratulations. Win, I win a hat that was made for us. Oh, right, look at that. Who made this hat? Me and Daniela made it. You made a Michael Jackson a little higher. smooth criminal. Yeah. You made a smooth criminal hat. Look at that. Congratulations, right? Hit by, you be struck by. Smooth criminal. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Janneke from Finland. And it's time to spin the wheel of medicality. As my beard returns to its normal length, I welcome it with Rhett's Beard Oil. Available at redley.com slash store. And as my lips move when I speak, I welcome Don't drink it. them uh, to peculiarly perfect peanut butter peppermint lip balm. It's mine. Redlink.com slash store. Get yeah. your own. Click through to Good Mythical More. We're going to read mail. Look what we found, man. Congratulations to Brittany, a.k.a. Blood Elf Huntress. You and a personalized GMM. When When Blood Elf Huntress eats asparagus, asparagus, Blood Elf Huntress pee pee smells like roses. roses. And it didn't originally say Red Link on the back. 
when it was found in the wild. What happened right here, Trey? Y'all been scuffing this up? Uh, Y'all been passing around like a hot potato again? Yeah, definitely. Let's do that right now. Let's play hot potato with it. 